the part 2 of chapter 2. So the fourth problem is if the pressure in the air space above I can see if above oil is having a specific a specific gravity of 0 0.75 surface in a closed tank so it is indicated the closed tank is 115 kilopascal absolute so what is the gauge pressure 2 meters below the surface so again with this no uh, know the given required and draw Gets so container uh, naka close so ang pressure is 115 kilopascal absolute and there's also a pressure or gauge pressure na 2 meters below sa FL, FLS no? which is specific gravity sa oil or oil specific gravities S sub oil equals 0.75 so atong bahaton as, as we can observe given ang um, kilopascal absolute absolute pressure and we can solve we can definitely solve the gauge pressure through the use of atmospheric pressure no diba as you can see so at 2 meters kani pala unknown man si P sa gauge so gamit ta sa equation or formula na P sub gauge equals to Remember, uh, remember itong P bottom. Same shape formula, no? Dali lang ang gauge. So, equal siya sa unit weight sa oil. I mean, pressure sa oil plus pressure sa air. So, lahi ni siya. So, ang gauge air, dari. Mo itong gamiton. Dari. Ikat itong una na meet na formula this is P sub ABS or absolute pressure I'm thinking na P sub gauge man eh. o P sub uh, gauge pressure 2 meters below the, the surface so this is the formula we have known and this is the formula, formula we created air manisha therefore using this given ni this is to be solved and can it having constant value so ato siya e transfer or transpose ang gauge I mean seep atmospheric pressure to other side so therefore P sub abs or absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure so 115 kilopascal minus 101 so this is the constant I have said or introduced to you earlier so 101.325 therefore ang P sub gauge sa air lang ha gauge pressure sa air is 13 0.675 kilopascal since involve man si 2 meters below sa F FLS or free liquid surface or um, surface sa oil so we use again this equation okay. no but to lay ni uh, to lay ni siya to get the piece of gauge
na 2 meters. So, kani sa oil and the air. As I have said ganina, it turns out na I told you this would be the absolute, but not, because this would be the value na nang ato ma-arrive. I mean, this is useful sa absolute man, para makuha na itong piece of gauge air. So, input the value is 9.21, um, kilopascal, cubic meter, times 0.75, ano niya? Kani is, as I have said, ganina, S sub O equals to liquid sa oil over H2O. So, muna yung na-arrive niya siya sa water. No? Water. 0.75 sa oil. And this is the edge. I mean pressure head or the height was 13.75 so therefore our gauge pressure at 2 meters is 28.39 kilopascal so proceed to the fifth problem so find the absolute pressure in kilopascal at the depth of 10 meters below the free surface of oil of specific gravity If the barometer reading is 752 mm mercury, right? MMHG. Just a simple, simply uh, 752 mm in terms of or some mercury. That's the explanation for Don't be confused about this. So we have the given. The required and of course we draw so that atong ma visualize so with the use of this formula so naman naman na to siya so, the gauge pressure or piece of gauge equals to unit weight of oil times the height of oil so 9.81 again we have, I have told you na delete siya direct no na pa siya and this is equal to unit weight of water times specific gravity sa oil and height times so therefore our gauge pressure is 73.575 kilo pascal gauge and atmospheric pressure na to it is not constant because It says, no, na a barometric reading and barometric reading is under sa atmospheric pressure. So, ito siya, gamitong kani. Diba, unit weight sa mercury is water, unit weight sa water times, or uh, specific gravity sa mercury is 13.6 and that is constant. Ano siya, 9.21 times 13.6 and the height is converted into meters so 0 0.752 right because one meter is 1000 millimeters so for Malaysia and it turns out that the atmospheric pressure is 100.33 kilopascal so just simplify and we arrive the absolute pressure as 173.5 905 kilopascal absolute to just write abs so to the sixth problem so na pa
So, problem 2.6. So, sa libro is this. Uh, this is board exam sa May 1994. So, tala na. So, saan tala na problem? Assuming a specific weight of air to be constant at 12 newton per cubic meter, what is the approximate height of Mount Banahaw if a mercury barometer at the base of the mountain weighs 652 mm, 54 mm, and at the same instant, another barometer at the top of the mountain weighs 480 mm. So, given only the, in the twist of air and the height or barometric reading. So, of course, barometric reading involves mercury. And this is how, this is how we illustrate now. This is the Mount Benahau. This is the reading, the first reading for 80. Because it says a problem top for 80 mm. And at the bottom or the base, so Mount Benahau is 654 millimeter. And the difference is the pressure head. So, we are asked on the heights of Mount Banao with this trick given. So, again, it involves pressure, probably, and is expectedly. So, two pressures now. So, use, we use the first variations of pressure, which is P sub 2 minus P sub 1 equals 2. Unit weight of a certain, it, if it's liquid or, or uh, liquid or air, so air mental, times height. So, therefore, because it involves some mercury, so... And pressure is ang ani. So, you need to eat some mercury times height. Diba, mas double value ang, si, ang, ang sa base. So, siya ang pressure. And first, pressure would be stop. And we have the value for unit weight. So times H, sa air no. And as we have noticed, Newton many ang given. So simply, mag Newton na lang pagda sa to ang water. Again expanded niha because of specific gravity. So unit weight sa H H G is equal to unit weight of water times specific gravity haya tamag times sa height so 9810 times 30.6 times into meters na so 0 0.654 no ano siya lang ga so millimeter 1 meter cancel therefore for 0.654 meters no so minus 9810 13.6 times 0 0.48 so don't forget na diretso tag water pagyuman sa water so it times na itong specific gravity and height no sa SG plus 12 12H so cross multiply so, and the difference and equation na I mean term would be 28,000 over 12 or simply 
when we calculate using the scientific calculator so the value of or the height of Mount Tanahaw is 1,934.532 meters now here's in value the next problem So next problem is involving the layers of pressure. And then the topic. The pressure below layers of different liquids. So in the figure shown, so given a figure, so no need to draw. If the atmosphere So, that is a problem. So, page 39, problem 2.11. So, in the figure shown, so at, at the book, no, ang figure kay Gipikita. So, if the pressure, atmospheric pressure is 101.03 kilopascal and the absolute pressure at the bottom, here, something here is 231.3 kilopascal. I don't know. Dari. Kapag draw ani is simply, it's like circle with arrow. No? So, absolute pressure. And, ang psi oil or C oil is Unit weighting is 0.89 with a height of 1.5 water, olive, and mercury. So as you have observed, so water is 1. So ang atong olive is between sa 30.6 to 1. And as you have observed, the more higher ang values of specific gravity, the more sh submerged, the mass at the bottom layer so let's make the equation or create the equation so what is a formula p gauge or bottom p bottom equals to summation of all unit weight times height plus pressure since it is open so zero so first Liquid is psi oil, water, olive oil, and lastly, ang mercury. And we we are given with values sa pressures, no? In terms of air. So, we, we can solve the pH through this formula. So, P abs equals to pH plus P at ATM or P at atmospheric pressure transfer lang so P out minus P sub ATM therefore 231.3 minus 103.03 kilopascal so our pH is 130.57 kilopascal right and the value of pH so substitute and 130.57 equals to so, ganiro na to nino. Don't forget again, na delete the direct. And we don't have unit weight sa psi oil. So, we use the value of unit weight sa water times the specific gravity. First, so mahimo na yun. Ang value for this value, maduhan na times sa height. No, also, just see. Of course, water is water naman siya. So, or times 1 na ito pwede mo maliipo. Na 21 times 1, 2.5. Dari, makuha na na ito ang specific gravity sa olive oil. Because water times specific gravity sa olive oil times height, 2.29. 
plus 9.81 times my query amount, 13.6 times 0.4. So 130.27, and we add the like terms or one up or values na walay tapad na variable. So, 90.99 plus uh, 98.81 9.81 times 2.9 is 28.45 times S sub o -O, olive oil. Therefore, so, ang naitabuan is 130.27 minus 90.99 diba kaya ito naman ibalhin so negative over we divide cross multiply so 28.45 so muna eh na come up na siya. So, cross multiply of both things with 8.45 and let's do the math. So, our specific gravity of olive oil is 1.38 and also remember, once a specific gravity is unit. Yes. So, let's move sa 8 problem. So, now, ang topic would be conversion of height to an array liquid no so convert 460 millimeter of mercury to first oil and be water so first diba height sa katong yung convertan and given height times specific gravity mass density unit weight and given man ang or we know na ang mercury is 30.6 so we tend to use the specific gravity as well as given po dari ang specific gravity so oil so 0.46 meter times 13.6 over 3.85 so just do the math and we arrive this value 7.36 meters of oil so water as I have said so water simply uh, height of water or what we want to know the the height of a liquid in terms of water just times ang yung height so specific gravity so 0.46 no convert to meters and 13.6 and mercury therefore the height of water is 6.256 meter of h2o or water so Easy lang ang kanin na uh, topic conversion. Uh, the ninth problem is in the figure shown or sa book, it would be the problem 2.19. No? So in the figure shown, determine the weight that can be carried by the 1.5 kN force acting on the piston. So, piston is yun, matrigger. Anyway, so let's proceed. No? Given a height. So, this is the piston na 1.5 kN. I mean, this is the piston with the weight, applied weight, na 300 millimeter diameter, and this is the force he applied na to, to the piston, so 30 millimeter diameter. So diameter ang pagbasa ani. So P sub 2 would be weight over area nito and force over area no p sub 2 p sub 1 so using the formula or first variation of pressure p sub 2 minus p sub 1 right
since uh, our our un uh, pressure is neglect neg negligible because for me when given height can mag meet man duha right zero no zero tong height so zero na pud ni therefore maturing siya na katong third third second one two a uh, fourth fourth duration Right, fourth variation or third. Only three variations, so the third piece of two equals a piece of one. So using this uh, formulated formula, if we weight over area, no area nito. So area ng cylinder is a square. Uh, with respect to diameter is pi d of pi d squared over 4 so 0.3 squared no cos f and given an f 1.5 over pi times 0 0.03 13 man converted to meters so I mean over 4 therefore ang weight ang weight na kaya i carried sa piston would be 150 kilo kilo newton no so manometer so here manometer ako na siyang bukon galina ako balikon ha so manometer as you can see is defined as a tube usually bent in a form of U containing a liquid of non-specific gravity the surface of which moves proportionally to changes of pressure it is used to, pr to measure pressure so types of manometer first the open one this or this so I prefer now we use this kind of drawing Bended lang na. Open manometer, differential manometer, and piezometer. So, sa book, def defined siya. So, just read it. And we are, we have here the steps in solving manometer. So, to, ab to be able to apply these steps. So, first, introduce na akong problem. So, the tenth, no? Na problem. Or, eleven na lang. Because moments are to ang module. Namalik ko ano, 10 is supposed to be. Anyway, for the manometer shown, determine the pressure at the center of the pipe. So, pressure center of the pipe. This is the pipe. So, to draw, to draw, and uh, simply, ano lang siya. Okay, and bend. Okay, and this is the pipe. Center, no? So, sabi rito, 1 meter, and this is uh, mercury. Labeled uh, SG. So, itong button is uh, 
designated interfaces. Ang ka interfaces. Ang iyahang a liquid to air. Sa liquid to air, mag differ um, mag ang surface attach sila. Or air to liquid, so kani 1, 2, and this ang yung level is 2 pod, right? So 2, 2, and lastly 3. Here, so one is yung ani 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. Difference niya is 1.5 meters. So ano ang pressure dari mo? Sa so, tong unang bahaton. Where you need to decide on the fluid in feet or meter, so usually we use the meter of which the heads are to be expressed, so water is most advisable. So, na siya. so ang solution na to, always start na in your community ang sum of pressure heads. Uh, Manisha, sum of pressure has from 1 to 3 in meter of H2O. So, it convert that liquid all as H2O. So, water. So, don't forget this paragraph or sentence. I mean, so, minus 5, basta makalintan ni. So, let's formulate, no? So, here, pressure head sa man ng case kutan. And, we know that pressure head is equal to P, P over unit weight. So, ang kanila itong focus. No? So, here, so... Anisha is P sub 1 over unit weight plus so convert mo na tong water so paano ko pang drawing mercury pa niya siya convert na to water so time height times specific gravity so height niya 1 specific gravity is 13.6 1 times diba H is equals to height sa liquid times ang iyahang S. No? So, mali siya 13.6. Basta conversion. Here, if you have forgotten, forgetting that to convert a certain height so liquid into water so height sa liquid times in specific gravity so plus so man so kanitong i-consider mm ano ta dali ubos so kung dali to start sa 1 no kung paubos means positive paubos thinking na kani negligible na ni siya sa itong pananaw is that in, in terms of leveling ha kani negligible ano ka ubos na ta so 1.5 times sa ang given uh, specific gravity sa oil equals to 0.8 so 0.8 equals filament Pressure is 3 unit weight. No? Pressure head. Since open air man, so the pressure is 0. So, kani is 0. And our P sub 3 of our unit weight is... So let's do the math. 13.6. So the answer is 14.75.
5 meters of H2O. No? Convert na natin ng H2O. So, kanya. And we are asked to solve our solution is not ended here so we need to multiply this to the value pressure head manisha so h2o so p sub 3 i mean small letter p for pressure so 14.75 meters times so let's use lang sa kilonewton and 21 kilonewton per cubic meter so the value is 144.70 kilonewton per cancel ang m squared na kani or simply 144.70 kilopascal so it's either of the two So, nga na ang manometer, no? Very of manometer. So, P say X or short and explanation to siya kanil. Hindi pang galing na. So, next problem. By the way, um, as you can see, we use um, different liquid. Ini may wala man tagilimit dari na ang pressure head into water lang. So, we can put the to other liquid na ang occur sa to ang manometer. It turns out lang ng water is easy to do no. Draw kanin. you can see into oil into mercury so let's use the conversion so tanawa siya as you can see arrive up the same values differentiate lang ang um, difference lang ang um, point sa point no that again is sum of pressure heads a genie containing sentence na iba naman dari due sa formula so anyway I think I will I would not um, ask you to solve or to use another liquid only water so at least you have met this kind of solution no? so solve problem so for the tank shown in the figure so first height is 3 meters and the third height is 4 meters that remain the value of H2 so the first this is the figure so open is that you know So, can, uh, from this, canin area is all H2O. No, H2O. So, we are proceeding sa sum of pressure heads na sentence. So, tarong sa natin illustration. Dapat natin height. So, H1 is 3 H2 and H3 so we now assigning the interface no interface na ba 
Dibeling. So, itong 1 is dari. Again, open na siya. 1 is dari. Obos ta. So, 2. Ang tanang kalining niya, 2. And up sa 3. No? So, therefore, ang dagan na to is here, to here, dagan, here, pataas. So, solution, bit sum up of pressure heads. from 1 to 3 in meter of H2O to big lang ito ikan so therefore pressure head so P sub 1 over unit weight plus sa oil uh, height niya is unknown so H sub 2 times specific gravity 3.84 Tagan water plus since dari is 3 meters so 1 na lang ni dari so 1 as you can see di ba na ko na going down positive but in taas matadari, so this is not positive, this is negative, minus 1. Mana ang ay kalimti. Down positive, up ni. negative 1 equals 2, P sub 3, unit weight. So the value of H2, no? Since both sides, I mean both. ang part ng sa compartmented na tank is open so zero ni basta expose ang pressure sa air is zero so ito na bilhin is 0 0.84 H2 minus 1 equals to zero Can transfer ni dari so 0 0.84 H2 so H2 equals to 1 over 0.84 H2 now is meter ni ha naka meter H2 is kailangan 1.19 meters so na pasita sa 13 So, up to 14 lang tano problem. So, kani sa so 13 is determine the value of H in the manometer shown in the figure. So, value of H. So, I have introduced to you naman how to assign in the interface leveling. So, kani combination na siya, no? So, pressure container with manometer so therefore given ang drawing is ganyan ano? so pag label ninyo appeal ni ang container so there is si 1 si 2 kung asa ning lusot o ning in occurrence liquid for in the is mercury so just do this one two three clean ya three and up four right so that is edge so many unknown no down 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 kalinya up 
So, yung kalimot pa sa up is negative. So, just write a sentence. Sum of pressure heads from 1 to 4 in meter of H2O. So, P sub 1, remember na may value and not close tank ni. And plus, so, direction na ta. So, plus 3 times 0 0.80 plus 1.5 because Atara is water. Sorry, no. Na minus na siya. H times 13.6 equals sa pressure sa 4. Pressure at 4. At point 0.4. Since exposed to air, so 0. So, let's do the math and substitution. So, 5 over 5 on the pressure. Air pressure over 9.21 plus 2.4 this 2.4 plus 1.5 transpose to other sides of the equation so positive na 13.6 H so addition ni tanan is 4.41 so cross multiply na about si 13.6 so that makuha na itong value sa H so divide ang 4.41 over 13.6 so the value is 0.32 meters and now, sa 14th problem, it is very tricky and taas, but satisfying to solve, you know, knowing na uh, you are guided with the steps. So, the problem is... Page 55, so problem 232. So for a gauge reading of negative 17.1 kilopascal, determine the elevations of liquids in the open physometer columns E, columns E, F, G. So first question required. Second is the deflection of mercury. Here, the mercury of of mercury in the YouTube YouTube manometer neglecting the weight of air. So again, in draw. So sa pag draw is wala pa ni mga interface leveling. So kita na mga sign. So one, two, three. Level 4, level up 5. Apat na. Masolve na na to. So, at A, to be able to get the elevation at E. So, always remember na ang elevation sa E is equal to 15 meters. Here, minus sa H1. As sa H1. So, H1. Tara. So, below siya ni elevation 15. Small letter E. Kanina point. No? So, H1. So, sum of pressure heads from 1 to E. Point E, small letter E. In meters H2O. So, pressure... Given minimum pressure, gauge pressure, plus H1 times 0.70. So, 0.70, no? Under ta. Under ang H1. Equals ta pressure sa point E. So, exposed sa air 0. Given ng P sub 1, so 70.5 kilopascal over 9.81. Plus... 0.70H no kanina below so therefore itong height or h sub 1 or h sub e 1 na niya 2.55 so our elevation at e is 12.5 
45 meters. No? Kaning tube. Pasabot ani is 12.45 Kaya dari ba? Kaya dari pitan dari ang datum. So, muna siya ang A. And now, So, the, ang A is elevations of liquid. So, tanang one column. E, F, G, kwa anatom elevation. So, basis sa itong drawing. So, sa F, under siya sa e, water. As you can see, 1, 2, linya. Sa F na siya, ang yung, atong pag-label sa interface. Ano na positive man siya? Because under just a division 15 we're in sa water kay elevation 12 meters man in taas man siya so plus the right tara on as you can see So, plus siya kung taan ni below man ang point E, ang point F, lapas man sa 12, so plus, as well as, tara si elevations, 8, and si G is taas, so plus niya pa. So, sum of pressure heads from 1 to F in meter of H2O, therefore, Pressure 1, we know that 17.55 over 9.81 is negative 1.78 plus 3 times 0.17. Ano 3 na lang man? Because 15 minus 12 is 3. So, mana siya 3.17 minus h sub 2. H sub 2, ano, ano minus? Because up naman ang ato ang interface or pag-label. So, muna siya minus. Equals to zero. Exposed man sa air. So, negative 1.78 plus 2.1 minus H2. So, 1.78 minus 1.78 plus 2.1 is 0.32 meters. So, therefore, 12 meters plus 0.32 meters is 12.32 meters. So, muna elevation sa column F. Elevation at column G, as I have said, is above just elevation 8 or 8 meters. So, add na tong ang H sub 3. Sum of pressure heads from 1 to G, point G, in meter of meters of H2O. So, 1.78, as I have said, negative 17.5 over 9.21, so direction na tawan, negative 1.78, plus 3, this, times 0.17, minus, why minus? Because ning up na ta, no, 1 point, ning up naman ta, Parang labeling. Yung tanaw dari is water ni siya. But don't forget na ni na ay 1.6 specific gravity o ni agi. And this column is what we considered. So, negative. Ang height is unknown. So, H sub 3 times 1.6. Tara. and exposed to air so pressure sa G is equal to 0 so 1 negative 1.78 plus 2.1 plus 4 minus 1.6 H sub 3 equals to 0 so transfer na to 1.6 so 
Mani na siya. So, the addition of this is 4.32 minus 1.6 H3 plus 0. Bali na to sa pika sign. So, 4.32 and cross multiply. So, H sub 3 equals 4.32 over 1.6. Kani, tali pa lang ilalong dari. Muna na siya. And therefore, the division of G, column G is 8 meters plus 2.7 meters or 10.7 meters. So, sabi, uh, sabi kay deflection of mercury, no? is the drawing so deflection of mercury sum of pressure has from 1 to 5 meter in meters of H2O we know na pressures have 1 is 1 negative 1.78 so plus 3.70 plus 3.70 plus 4 the water water the as you can see water gap on eh, up to here so 4 8 minus 4 so 4 therefore 8 meters so that why that's why 8 is minus up mantadari so 0.4 2.5 so h So unknown, so mercury man, so negative 13.6 H equals to 0, exposed to air, open, so negative 1.78 plus 2.1 plus 8 minus 13.6, so addition and itanan is 8.35, so balhindari, so pick a sign, so mga positive, so we divide, and atong 8.35 so 13.6, and the value for H, or deflection height is or deflection of mercury is 0.61 meters so i think if i've come an end to my discussion about chapter 2 and hoping that you have understood what i am discussing to you for tonight's video so thank you for watching and good night